Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. As promised, I told you that I was going to be more proactive and I'm going to be uploading crazy amount of videos. So if you guys are not following, definitely hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. This video, it is specifically for, for us to see how people view you. And this is going to be for your moon, sun, or rising, okay? So we're going to get into it here. Let's begin. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, ascended masters, spirits of donation. Please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly. Give us a clear and concise depiction through the tarot for all of my zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Gemini, as it is still Gemini season. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do people view them? How do people perceive them? Let's see. Let's see. How do people view Geminis? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. If you guys are interested in any personal consultations, any readings, any type of personalized spell work, you can find all of that on my description link below. If you guys like to support our channel, there is a link there as well for our Patreon and uh, all that good stuff. So here we go. If you guys are interested in the manifestation book or journals, you can find all of that on the description link below. If you guys don't follow my social medias, I encourage you guys to. Instagram and Snapchat, I am more proactive on there. Snapchat, we have an amazing bond with all of my followers. Um, I am always looking for the funny, hilarious, or snarky uh, remarks or comments, and those are the ones that I post for everyone else to see, and it's just a, a lot of funny banter back and forth with all of my followers on there, so definitely follow us on Snap as well as on Instagram. All right, here we go. Let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is it that people view you? Let's see. Let's get into it here. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, here we go. We have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, Temperance, and the King of Swords. All right, and Five of Wands. Okay, interesting. I feel like people are viewing you, and these are glimpse shots of how people have been perceiving or seeing you in the past two months up until now. Okay, if you're watching this after the fact, it'll be up until those two months and presently or when you watch this video. So I see you being seen almost like, I don't want to say untouchable, but almost, it's almost like it's really hard for people to perceive you to actually put their finger on you. Um, they see you as very non-emotional. Uh, they're definitely seeing you as a person that gets either a lot of attention um, or someone that does not back away. Okay, so what's coming through is uh, strong tempered. Okay, so not to be construed or misconstrued with like moody or anything like that. It's just you're very passive. You don't take things personal, Gemini. But when it comes to you like sticking to sticking to it, you definitely do not budge. So they see you as a person that, um, it takes a lot for you to get some type of reaction, but when you do, they know that you're not playing anymore. It's like they push you to your limit. Um, I see you very disconnected, so they feel like you're not emotionally open or perhaps not as emotionally connected to yourself. Um, there are certain things or tendencies that they've noticed about you. This could be almost like... Um, a defense mechanism to run away or walk away from anything that is creating some type of emotional turmoil for you. Um, but what I'm also seeing is they definitely see you as a authentic person or someone that is genuine and authentic, meaning with this temperance here in the five of wands, it indicates to me that if you're not going to pretend to like something you don't like and you're not going to pretend to like someone you don't like. It's very cutthroat and to the point. Again, it's almost like they don't see you as emotional. But when it comes to things that you really care about and that you're really like passionate about, you stand your ground on that. So there is a high remark here for 
they highly respect you. They know that you're not one to be messed with if push comes to shove type of energy. But other than that, they see you as very carefree, as someone that is constantly seeking um, freedom or finding yourself or enjoying things that you love doing, not necessarily with anyone alongside you. So what I mean by that is you are perfectly fine and content going and taking yourself out to dinner or going out to breakfast on your own without having the need of company. So they do see you a bit as a loner or a lone wolf. Um, and again, I feel very strongly like there is almost this energy of like untouchable or like you're not as available Here's the thing, though, it's coming through for a lot of you guys. If you guys are single out there, try the best you can to try to be more inviting because you become it's almost like even if you are seeking love or you are open to the possibilities, it's almost like the way you carry yourself kind of pushes people away. So it's because either you're coming off as unemotionally available um or you just have a sour puss face when you're out and about. So try the best you can to be more inviting. This is only for those of you guys that are single and are trying to embrace love or welcome love in. Um, learn to be a little bit more playful, Gemini. I feel like the past couple of months, you guys have really been tested. And for some of you guys, you're extremely guarded. And that's the reason why you either are not as social or haven't really been putting yourself out there because I do see friends missing you. I do see friends really thinking like what's going on with Gemini. You kind of pulled back, but I feel like it has more to do with you finding yourself, Gemini. Um, but again, like I said, if you are trying to connect or bring love in, definitely be more inviting, my loves. All right, moving on. This coming from someone that I'm always told I should smile more often and it just gives me the ick, right? When they tell me that. And it's usually guys that say that, which I find very insulting. It's like, if I am not smiling at you, sir, it's because I'm not inviting you over. <laughs> but yet here you are, right? <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how you're viewed, how you're perceived. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how people have been seeing you lately. How you're coming off to people. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. Let's see. Cancer, how are you being viewed? How are people perceiving you? All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Hierophant. Okay. So very interesting. If you can see at the very top, we have very light, bright colors. Um, the bottom, not so, not so bright, right? But what stands out is red. So they see you as very intense or very passionate. This could be a good thing. This could be a negative thing, depending on the type of people that we're talking about, right? So what I mean by this is if we're talking about relationships and partnerships, you could become, not become, you can come off as very intense, sometimes extremely moody. Um, giving very much bipolar energy, um, not saying that there's anything wrong with people that have bipolar uh, disorder. But what I mean is like you swing from one mood to another. So there's not consistency there, which makes them fearful of that energy. So if you are single, if you are dealing with people, just un just be aware that they are treading lightly only because you come off as not so consistent when it comes to your mood or when it comes to the things that you want. Um, However, I do see that they see you very much in the light of a nurturer. They see you very much in the light of very feminine energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. It's almost like you bring a, a soothing type of energy uh, to those around you, to those close to you. This is family. This is relatives. This is friends. Um, it's almost like 
I feel like lately you guys have been struggling a bit with chasing dreams or aspirations. Um, so people could seem or could see you very disconnected, almost absent for some of you. And it's because you've been on this journey of stabilizing something. So this could be stabilizing a relationship and that could be why friends and relatives see you as very distant or perhaps absent. It's almost like you're putting all your energy and effort towards that relationship. Um, if you are and this is connecting with you, be careful with that. It's kind of like what I tell my clients. When dealing with someone or dating someone, it's amazing, right? The beginning stages, it's beautiful and rosy and everything. But it's important to maintain the other aspects of your life. Do not lose yourself in relationships. Why? Because if it doesn't work out at the end of the day, family and friends are the ones that are going to be there and that person's not going to be there. You get what I'm saying? Don't put people to the side um, just because you are wrapped up in this, you know, in this dream or desire to manifest something. Um, be cautious about that. However, I do see here that, again, like I said, there's almost this uh, constant anxiety, <coughs> excuse me, constant anxiety of like not being present. And, and it could be that you have a tendency of like thinking ahead or thinking in the future and you're constantly like trying to catch up to what you're wanting or what you're envisioning you should be doing at this point in time. So it's almost like a disconnection here. Um, however, like I said, Red is strongly standing out. Yellow, which is blessings and opportunities coming your way. So they see that you're growing. They're seeing that you're, um, they see that you're like focused in something. Um, and like I said, what's coming to, what's coming to me is almost like when you get into relationships, you kind of lose yourself in those relationships. Try the best you can not to do that cancer. Because I feel like if this is connecting with you, this has a lot to do with like how friends and family and relatives see you um, right now. It's almost like, oh, you know, cancer's not around or cancer didn't come to the gathering or whatever. It must be because they're with their partner, or with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, it's almost like this joke, like, oh, yeah, um, he or she is all in love right now. You know, that type of energy. And again, it's not to say that it's not good to make a relationship a priority. Of course it is, but do not lose yourself in those relationships, okay? Because what I'm seeing here is that you are viewed or seen as a person that could be very unstable when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Now, if you have a tendency of like overhyping the partner that you're with, the advice here is stop doing that cancer because people have noticed that. And, you know, it's kind of like what I tell clients and here we go back to the same thing. But what, what I tell my clients is whenever you're planning something or trying to manifest something or trying to make something happen, keep it very low profile. Don't put it out there to the world because then people are going to shit on it or people are going to try to come between that. So you don't want to do that. Um, I see them as seeing you very open. If you do have a tendency of like posting on social media and stuff like that, like I said, if you're going through difficulty in a relationship, don't go on there posting like negative shit about your partner because you're trying to like hurt them or you're trying to like, you know, get in their feels about it. It's not having an effect on them, honestly. And the people are the ones that are viewing you a certain type of way. Not that it should matter, but you don't want to be known as the person that, you know, puts their whole life on display. Okay. All right, here we go. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Leos. Let's see how Leos are being viewed or seen at this point in time. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how Leos are coming off to people. How are people viewing Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Leo. One more shuffle. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how you're being viewed, how people are perceiving you. All right, here we go. We have the Sun card. We have the Six of Cups. We have Temperance here. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor card here. Let me pull this up a bit. Okay. All right, so definitely, I mean, this is not something that I have to tell Leos, right? But you guys are naturally able to draw or draw in people. Uh, you guys are 
very much on a high vibration. People really enjoy being around you or being in your company. However, I do feel like you're coming off a bit impatient. <coughs> Excuse me. You're coming off a bit in, impatient, Leo. Um, this could be in a relationship or this could be the people around you. It's almost like they feel lately like they have to be walking on eggshells. And it's a lot to do with something has recently changed in your life, Leo. So this for some of you guys, it could be that you recently got with a partner. For others of you, it could be that you recently brought a partner, especially if there's children involved, that you started bringing them around your family. So people kind of feel like they have to be walking on eggshells. They don't want to say certain things that will offend you only because you're coming off a bit short tempered. OK, now, if this is in connection with a relationship, I feel like the issue here um, more than anything is not so much about impatience. It has more to do with being able to find the balance within the relationship. OK. So what do I mean by this? Power struggles is what I'm seeing. So having to learn to budge or to meet your partner halfway in certain things um, and vice versa, because I feel like both of you guys have, there's a bit of imbalance here and it could potentially because you guys have the same personality or the same ego, the same size. So again, um, and other than that, what I'm seeing is, like I said, people around you seem like they have to, they're not as open or they're not as like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they're not as open because they feel like something in your life has recently changed that has changed the dynamic completely. Okay. Um, not to be in a negative aspect, but I feel like it has more to do with the fact that they feel like you're nurturing or taking care of a certain aspect of your life. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like it has to do with a relationship. And for others of you, it could possibly have to do with an ex-partner or someone that is back in your life that perhaps wasn't. Um, so it has people a little bit iffy about it. You know, uh, the dynamic has definitely changed. So they feel not as comfortable. Um, and again, if it is a relationship, it's, it's like I'm saying, I feel like you guys are going through some type of power struggle here and they're seeing you as very impatient, very uh, you want things and you want them now and you want them done now. And it's like, you know, that person is not really seeing what they're triggering in you for you to be that impatient. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like it has more to do with power struggles. If, in fact, you are dealing with people, especially new people, try the best you can not to come off as um, really pushing people towards having your vision or viewing things the way you do because that can come off as a negative way. What I mean by that is people will be triggered feeling like you're trying to change them or you're trying to uh, force them into seeing or believing certain things the way you do. We have to understand and respect everyone's opinions. We have opinions the way we all have assholes, okay? All right, moving on. Let's see how people are viewing Virgo. Oh, we got cards. All right, let's see how people are viewing Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how Virgos are coming across. Let's see how Virgos are being seen at this point in time. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Virgo. Let's see how people are viewing you, how people are seeing you. All right, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Strength card. The Seven of Swords, the Lovers, the World card. Wow, Queen of Wands. Okay, you're definitely on fire, Virgo. People people have noticed that there's a major transformation in your life. This could be, for some of you guys, it could be that you've changed certain aspects about yourself. For some of you guys, you recently went through some type of surgery. For others of you, you did a complete makeover. For others of you, you've lost a lot of weight or you're taking more care of yourself. There is a glow up here that's happening and people are not happy about it, okay? So what I'm seeing here is immediately you're getting a lot of attention. If you haven't up until now, Virgo, you will be getting a lot of attention only because yellow is standing out very strongly for me. And yellow is a representation of the sun, right? And the sun does what? It illuminates, right? It gets a lot of attention. Um, so again, 
I feel like people are really all up in your business. This could be social media. This could be your business. This could be people around you. They're noticing that there is a specific glow up that recently happened. And people are not happy about it only because they see that you're getting a lot of attention. Um, I also do see for some of you guys, it could be a Leo, a Gemini, or any other fire sign, really, uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, that perhaps in the past wasn't completely honest with you. They could have been multiple dealing. It could have been a person that you were dealing with romantically, <clears throat> that you're no longer in communication. Um, but it's almost like they always felt like they were the prize or they always felt like they had options. And now they're seeing you like have this massive glow up and they're, that's not sitting okay with them. They are definitely not okay with you getting attention. They're not okay with you expanding and growing. My message in this aspect, Virgo, keep doing you, baby, and F everybody else. If they don't like it, show them the door um, because I feel like it's something that's been it's it, it it's taking you a while to get to this point of being confident in yourself and believing in yourself. It's something you've been working at very hard. And I feel like people may make backhanded compliments. As an example, don't get too skinny because you're getting too skinny or don't work out so much because you're getting too buff or, um, you know, I liked you better with that other hair color or, you know, those type of compliments like just know that when they do say that, it's coming out of spite, okay? So that's the type of people you want to pull away from. All right, moving on. You're definitely on fire, Virgo, uh, especially when it comes to romance and love. There's going to be a lot of offers or a lot of suitors coming towards you. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Let's see how Libras are coming across, how people are viewing my lovely Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people perceiving them? How are people seeing them at this point in time? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Libra. Oh, okay. We'll take these. All right. Let's see what's going on. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have tons of videos coming through for you guys. Not only readings, but also spell work. Um, so you guys, <coughs> excuse me, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, so we have the Devil, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Okay. So Libra, I'm not sure what's going on in your love life, but people are not necessarily happy about it. And this could be your relatives. This could be friends. This could be family that love you and genuinely care for you. They're seeing you as having difficulty letting go of toxicity, whether it's friends that are not good for you, whether it's a partner that's not good for you. And it's almost like there is a recurring cycle that continues to happen or that you've been dealing with for quite a while. Um, so they're definitely viewing you as loving or thriving off of chaos. It's almost like they cannot understand. They cannot fathom that you are still dealing or choosing to deal with people that are extremely toxic for you. They see you as very loving and nurturing, but sometimes you need to learn to balance that. What do I mean by this? You need to learn to give as much as you receive. And I feel like you guys forget that and you guys have a tendency of overgiving, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Now for others of you, if you are dealing with the partner that is extremely toxic and that you do have a tendency of overgiving, I see you coming across as a dumbass. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to, you know, no sugar coating it here. I'm keeping it 100. What I mean by this is they feel like they could get whatever they want out of you. So if they come to you and they're like, oh, you know, what? like, oh, my phone's going to be disconnected because they know you got it. They know you're going to take care of it oh, you know what, my car needs an oil change. Like, they're not telling you just to make conversation. They're telling you because they're preparing you so when they ask you, you give. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's fair to say in this situation is you need to stop. You need to stop giving if you're not receiving. You need to learn the balance between give and receive. Now, if this is with friends, maybe you have a tendency of always being there for them, getting them, getting them out of, like, shitty situations. But if when you need them, you call them and no answer, then you need to stop doing that because I feel like they're viewing you as the innocent or 
as almost like there's this innocence, there's this purity to you and people try to one up you. So again, be careful and be mindful of that Libra. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Let's see how Scorpio is currently being viewed or perceived at this point in time. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how Scorpio is being seen at this point in time. How is or Scorpio? Sorry, I almost said Virgo. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Virgo. How is Scorpio being viewed? How are they being perceived at this point in time? All right. Okay, one more shuffle. I was going to stop there, but they're like, nope, one more. Okay, here we go. Scorpio. Sun, moon, <coughs> rising. All right, here we go. You have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of... Wow. Okay, we have two, three pages. Wow. Holy moly guacamole. All right. Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, so what came off across right away immediately the moment i seen the nine of swords and the page of wands is be careful be careful when it comes to communication it's almost like there is a specific individual or specific individuals that know you have a tendency or you enjoy a bit of gossip uh and i feel like there is one not necessarily with good intentions that comes to you to bring you or give you gossip and it's almost to steer shit up. It's almost like because they know that you can't contain yourself or you can't contain that information. So you kind of, it's almost like they're waiting for you to like shake up the calderon. You know what I mean? Like they come to you with this information because they know that you have a tendency of like oversharing. Um, so my advice in this situation is be careful of those around you. And here's what's coming across too. I feel like there is people surrounding you. This could be family. This could be relatives. This could be people that you actually trust. It's almost like they, it's almost like they are aware of certain behaviors about yourself that they kind of use it against you when it's beneficial for them. Um, so what's coming across is, like I said, as an example, if it's family dynamic, if, if it's like, there are certain relatives that have beef or issues and they don't want to deal with it. It's like they come to you, they tell you because they know you're going to go back and like steer the pot and then it just becomes something bigger. And I feel like you end up getting in between the crossfire and like you didn't mean to, but like I feel like they're doing this on purpose. So my advice is stay out of drama as much as you can, especially with these pages, a lot of communication and it's almost like sometimes holding your tongue or biting your tongue is something you just cannot do. Um, and you have to work on that only because it's almost like it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, I can't explain it in English. It's a saying in Spanish that it's like a feel, uh, it's a doble filo, which means like, uh, having a sword is, I can't say it. I, I don't know how to say it in Spanish. I mean, in English, but what it means is basically like them using your weaknesses to their advantage um you don't want to create gossip because i see a lot of gossip a lot of gossip around you scorpio especially right now so again be careful we are about to experience the full moon in capricorn we also have pluto retrograding in capricorn like you just don't want to get caught up in shit that has nothing to do with you but then you come out to be like the bad one because you accidentally said something that you shouldn't have but they told you because they knew you would. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you do, <laughs> Scorpio. They're basically telling you to shut it up. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut <laughs> is what they're saying. If you don't want to get caught up in shit that has nothing to do with you. All right. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius coming across? How are people perceiving Sagittarius? Sun, moon, raising Venus. How is Sagittarius coming across? How are people viewing Sagittarius? 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, there is a bit of blockages here. From the shuffling, I can tell right away. <clears throat> okay, one more. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Let's see how you're being viewed, Sagittarius. All right, here we go. Four of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, the Magician, and Temperance. Okay. All right, so I feel like people are seeing you a bit secretive. Um, they're seeing you like there is a certain behavior about you lately um, that is coming across as very sneaky um, or very secretive, okay? So if you have a tendency of oversharing, like our previous Scorpio, <laughs> um, and all of a sudden you kind of stopped, I feel that it's not a negative thing. It's actually a positive thing because you don't want people to shit on the things that you're trying to nurture or that you're trying to manifest. So kudos to you, Sagittarius. If you are working on manifestations and you're keeping, you know, your goals and aspirations private, then awesome. Continue on that path. However, if you are in fact being sneaky and we're talking about relationships, partnerships or people around you um, where you're not completely honest or transparent be careful with that because I feel like you will get caught up and when I say get caught up I feel like again keeping in mind we are about to experience two full moons actually in the sign of Capricorn we also have um, Pluto retrograding and we also have Saturn retrograding right after so again you know we don't want to test karma right now um but what I am seeing here is there is almost this people can figure you out right now. You're coming off as a bit confusing or perhaps a bit inconsistent in the things that you're saying and it matching your actions. So if this is in a relationship, as an example, this is not necessarily a good thing because they see you as very volatile. They see you as constantly changing your mind or constantly being triggered Um with certain things that instead of like really trying to work it out, what you do is you kind of suppress it, hold it in until you explode, until you can't take it no more. Um, so they're seeing you as, you know, having difficulty expressing or communicating. Um, now, if this is in regards to really, or family dynamics, uh, friendships, that type of energy, they are seeing you as a person that has a tendency of perhaps, you know, uh, in the past, maybe you've had a tendency of like oversharing, uh, whereas now there was like a flip or some type of switch that went off um, where you're keeping things more private and people are very curious and they're wanting to like know exactly what's going on or what has changed, what has transpired in Sagittarius life, because all of a sudden people don't know much about you or people are not you're not being as vocal as you once were. Uh, again, like I said, if it is about manifestations, if it is about working on yourself and your spirituality and your self growth, kudos to you. But if it's not, and you're not intentionally wanting to come off that way, especially if we're talking about a relationship or a partnership, try the best you can to maintain communication, like open communication is going to be key. Because I feel like there's going to be certain insecurities about that partner that are going to be triggered, uh, that you're going to have to be dealing with. Okay, so just be mindful of that. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is Capricorn coming across? You guys definitely stay tuned as I have another uh, fun video for you guys. Another reading. Um, what people like about you. So, could get heavy. <laughs> could get sexual. <laughs> All right, and you guys know if you follow my Snapchat, I have a very dark sense of humor, and I am extremely sexual humor as well, so there you go. All right, let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. If you guys know Capricorns or have a Capricorn in your life, you know our sense of humor. Could be off the wall. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is Capricorn being viewed? How are they being seen? 
how are they being viewed how are they being seen here we go cappies capricorn sun moon rising venus i'm hearing there's a pep to your step capricorn all right we have the ace of swords the fool card the king of cups the strength card wow the two of wands and the two of swords okay you're coming across as very desirable capricorn um you're coming across as very exciting there has been almost like this recharge of your energy like you're really and for some of you guys when you watch this it could be like you're starting to feel a little bit different but it's almost like there is the inner child within you that is like taking over in a very positive way. What do I mean by this? We have a tendency as Capricorns, right? To come off as very like serious, very like just nonchalant type of energy. But I feel like you guys lately have really been feeling yourself or you're going to be feeling yourselves where you start to see life in a more like playful, more joyful manner. And that also is going to change the way people are perceiving you and how they're viewing you. It's almost like you're becoming more desirable because you're playful about things. You don't take things so seriously. Um, but also, I do see that people are viewing you as definitely someone that is worth pursuing for those of you guys that are single. Um, however, I feel like a lot of the people that are interested in you capricorn the people that have their eyes on you right now they can't really figure you out and that's scary to them because it's almost like i don't want to fall for capricorn and then them being emotionally unavailable so it's good to have fun and enjoy yourself and be playful but also don't overdo it <laughs> because you know it can come off it could come off um or it can come across as if you enjoy a little too much of the attention, which I feel odd saying this about Capricorns because Capricorns don't have a tendency of in, like liking the spotlight. Uh, I feel you guys naturally get the spotlight only because you guys, you know, it's exert dominions. Um, but I feel like you guys are really enjoying the limelight or will be enjoying the limelight. Try the best you can not to take it too seriously because if you are trying to draw in love, you don't want to scare people away. Um, which I often say, you know, if people are afraid of your confidence or feel intimidated of your confidence, then they're just not for you. Um, but I do see that there is a lot of passion, a lot of intensity around you. People are noticing you. People are admiring, um, whether it's in your career field, whether it's whatever it is that you do for business, whether it's especially, by the way, Capricorns, if you guys are in sales, amazing amazing time ahead for you guys because you're going to be so charismatic that your sales is going to double or even triple because people are just naturally being drawn to you right now if you're not experiencing this already you will be experiencing this as we proceed in the month okay um but again i feel like they're seeing you as emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable others around you uh are definitely seeing you as a person that they admire or a person that they respect Again, you come off across as not that um, you definitely come across as passionate. So this could be about your goals, aspirations, your dreams or when it comes to your money. But when it comes to relationships, they see you a bit detached or like non interested in relationships. For some of you guys, you're coming across as you're, you know, <clears throat> very physical, um, but not necessarily looking for love. So if that's not the vibe that you're putting out or that you're trying to put out, Again, it's good to be playful and enjoy uh, the present moment, but also, um, what was I going to say? But also keeping in mind to not necessarily be quick to judge or, okay, so what's coming across is take compliments. <clears throat> So what I mean by that is because the strength card and the two of wands, it's like you're very desirable and people are wanting to reach out. Um, but I feel like the communication, when it happens, you kind of block yourself or people feel like you, you're not as receptive to their energy. And that's the reason why they step back or that's the reason why they pull back. Um, so just wanted to put it out there. Okay, moving on here. 
let's see what's going on with Aquarius. How is Aquarius being viewed at this point in time? How is Aquarius coming across? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people perceiving you? How are, are people viewing you, Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how people are perceiving you. How people are viewing you, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go, Aquarius. How are people viewing you? How are you coming across to people? All right, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> we have Judgment card, the Sun card. Oof. King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, <clears throat> very determined, very hardworking, extremely smart. Obviously, I don't need to tell you guys, right? <laughs> but you're definitely, you're the type of person that people look up to or that people admire for your intellect, your intelligence or for your go-getter type of mentality, right? But I feel like you have a tendency of, it's almost like people see you as a conundrum. Um, you say certain things that, you know, people perceive as, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's almost like, they can't they can't pin you down they see you as extremely smart very very attractive um maybe a little bit judgy but i feel like on the surface or i should say below the surface you're struggling or have been struggling with confidence or your beliefs beliefs in yourself your self-worth your perception of certain things about life, perhaps how you viewed certain things in the past. There is a change that's happening. However, you come off as extremely confident as a person that is very smart, very witty. Um, and sometimes, you know what, especially for those of you guys that are single, I feel like you have difficulty when it comes to love and romance only because you come off as extremely confident and extremely like empowered when deep down you have a tendency of again allowing certain insecurities take over and it kind of keeps you like still or it keeps you like from making that move because you overthink or overanalyze and that other person or those other people that are you know trying to get close to you are like, oh, Aquarius is so confident, they're so empowered. If they're not making the move, it's because they must not be interested. So what they're showing me here is a complete contrast of how you view yourself versus how people view you. And if this is resonating with you, my advice, Aquarius, is be more daring, okay? Because I feel like you're coming off a bit, you're coming off a bit, untouchable and I feel like that's what intimidates people and that's what keeps people from actually shooting their shot with you um and for some of you guys you feel like you just can't draw in um you know suitors new opportunities or people because you feel like there's something wrong with you and it's not it, it has more to do with the fact that you just intimidate them um yeah, because it's the complete the complete opposite of how people are viewing you with the five of pentacles, seven of wands and the page of wands. Like you overthink, you overanalyze certain things and it keeps you from moving forward. My advice is be more spontaneous, Aquarius. Believe more in yourself and have more confidence in yourself. That could be why initially when I was shuffling, I felt like pep in your step. Like you got to pick up that pace or you got to <clears throat> or you will start to feel more empowered and more confident as we continue on in the month. Um, but that is definitely something that is coming across very strongly for a lot of you guys. And when I say be spontaneous, this is in every single aspect of your life. 
if it's a career move and you're scared and overthinking or overanalyzing, now is the time to actually make those changes or to actually dare and jump in wholeheartedly because the outcome will be a massive success if you do it wholeheartedly, like I said. All right, moving on here. Let's see how Pisces is being viewed. How is Pisces being viewed at this point in time? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people perceiving or viewing Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how people are perceiving or viewing Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. How is Pisces being viewed? How are they being perceived at this point in time? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Pisces. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, we have the Hanged Man. We have the Sun card. Wow, King of Pentacles, the Judgment, Two of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Pisces, how you're being viewed. You... You're being viewed as a person that has a lot of dreams, a lot of aspirations, but don't really make or don't really take the moves to make them happen. It's almost giving me the energy of like the person that has this amazing million dollar idea of a business and you're excited about it and you're telling your friends or your family members and then a week goes by and nothing's happened and then you bump into that friend or that relative and they're like, hey, how's the business going? And you're like, ah. I changed my mind. It's almost, it's giving me very much the energy of like your attention attention spam is very short or you have difficulty focusing on just one thing. Um, so this is not necessarily a good thing if you're talking about relationships and partnerships because you come off as a person that is willing to put in effort, but you're not consistent. You may be consistent for two, three days, and after that, you're not. Um, and for others of you, you're coming across as the type of energy of wanting. It's almost like you're coming across with very strong conviction, convic convic sorry, convictions, um, very strong, like very strong moral code, um, maybe even a bit judgy of others. However, you have difficulty seeing yourself in the mirror or you have difficulty um, taking self-responsibility. It's almost like it's almost like people are perceiving you as, you know, yeah, Pisces has a tendency of being a little bit judgy, but like, you know, they're over here judging my relationship, but, you know, why aren't they? focus or consumed in their relationship that it's not going that great. Do you get what I'm saying? That's the type of energy that's coming through. Um, so my advice is if you are experiencing that, try the best you can to not be so judgmental, Pisces, or be more compassionate. And I know it's weird for me to say this to Pisceans um, because usually Pisces are the ones to sacrifice themselves, right? But I feel like this message is only to specific ones. And if you do have a tendency of being very judgy or judgmental with friends, relatives, even your children, try the best you can not to do that. Um, because it's almost like it's almost giving me the energy of like a know it all. But when it comes to you, like it's you have difficulty like self-reflecting or sitting there with certain things. Now, another thing that's coming across is you have a tendency of not listening to people's advice. You need to stop doing that, Pisces. Sometimes people are not giving you advice because it's out of hate. The way in your head you created this, you know, narrative. It's not always about hate. Sometimes people are looking out for you, but they'd rather be honest with you than bullshit you and pretend like being a yes man or a yes woman just so that they can be in your good graces. So it's about learning to discern right when people are genuinely giving you true and authentic advice 
Um, <clears throat> don't take it so personal. Take a step back and realize, you know what, maybe it's coming from a place of love and they're really looking out for me. Because here's the thing, what I'm seeing is almost like being very quick to judge someone that is like reaching out to you or that is trying to give you some type of information or some type of advice. And if, instead of you taking it or listening to it, it's like you quickly judge them or you turn it around and make it seem like they're hating on you and they're not. They're coming from a genuine place. They're just kind of trying to hold the mirror to you. Like, you know what, if you're going to judge other people, let's look at ourselves first. Okay. Now it's not going to connect with everyone, but there you go. Watch Pisces get all butt hurt. <laughs> Sometimes we just got to hear it, you know? <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people viewing you? How are people perceiving you, Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people perceiving you, Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you Aries doing out there, by the way? I have a lot of friends and a lot of love interests that are Aries. And let me tell you guys, y'all have been going through it as well. <clears throat> All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they being viewed? How are they being perceived at this point in time? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go, Aries. Oh, okay. Give these. All right, Aries, here we go. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Wow, two queens. A lot of rumors. All right, Aries. I feel like the way you're being viewed lately or as of late, Aries is... As a person that has a tendency of not learning their lessons, okay? So I see a lot of rumors surrounding you. For some of you guys, you know, certain things started to change in your life. There is a lot of a lot of change. And it's almost like you guys are being challenged right now with the past and the present. So what comes to mind is almost like wanting to do things for growth and expansion, but at the same time, trying to work on something that you've been working on in the past and it just hasn't panned out. Um, so I feel like people are perceiving you or viewing you as like being on this goal, being on this journey of trying to materialize certain things. For some of you guys, it's financial stability. For others of you guys, it's finding your happiness. Um, but I feel like there is instability within what you're trying to make happen. Um, so what's coming to mind is as an example, it could be that in the past, perhaps you didn't think, or you didn't want the normal, you know, white picket fence house with the home and family and marriage type of thing. Maybe you wanted something completely different, right? And it's almost like now emotionally you're feeling like you want to solidify something or you want to stabilize a certain aspect of your life, like the scenario I gave you. Maybe you're realizing that you're not looking for something different, that you are ready for something more structured. And it's almost like, you feel like you're being pulled towards two different directions, like your friends, your family, your friends have this perception of you, right? But your true perception in the now is completely different to who it, who you were then. So it's almost like people are confused about you because there are certain things about you that you're switching up or that you're changing and people don't understand it and they're not trying to understand it. They're more so passing judgment and it's judgment based on, well, Aries used to do this and this and that, and all of a sudden they're trying to be saintly. Or Aries, you know, um, would always say that they were looking for something serious, but now they're like in a serious relationship. There's something that recently changed or will be changing for you 
where it's going to have a lot of people talking. It's going to have a lot of chatter around. But the advice here is be true and be honest with yourself, Aries. As long as you're true and honest with yourself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want. It doesn't matter if you changed your mind. It doesn't matter if you were what you were then, but you're no longer that person. We all have the right to grow and expand. That's what we're here for. And anyone that tells you otherwise is full of shit. So as long as you're honest and truthful with yourself and you be genuine and authentic with yourself and with your wants and needs, you'll be fine. Um, but try the best you can. If you are outgrowing a certain version of yourself, try the best you can to be honest with yourself about that. Meaning don't let people drag you to the past or things that you no longer are interested or no longer wanting to do. All right. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people viewing you? How are people seeing you at this point in time? How are people perceiving you, Taurus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are people viewing you? How are people perceiving you? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. One more shuffle. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh. Okay, I was going to shuffle again, but they're saying go. Okay, here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see how people are perceiving you, how they're viewing you. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. Wow, Two of Cups. Five of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Death card. Okay, how people are perceiving you or viewing you. <clears throat> they see you extremely, like, growing or financially stable. There is a specific person that's viewing you and that is trying to come back into your life, Taurus. This could be a person from your past. This could be a person that you maintained or had some type of romantic connection with in the past that perhaps it didn't pan out or it didn't work out. I feel like now they feel like you've outgrown them or like you're on to bigger, better things and they're trying to come back around. Um, they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to open communication with you. It's almost like their perspective of you has completely changed because you, in fact, have changed, Taurus. Um, one thing I tell my clients in the nicest way possible is just remember, whenever you chew a gum and spit it out to the ground, you don't put it back in your mouth. So if it didn't work out in the past, it's not going to work out in the present. And you've already outgrown this person or this situation. So you don't want to give them the opportunity of letting you down all over again um or you don't want to give them the opportunity of knowing that you're now into or onto bigger better things that you're willing to step down just to meet them where they're at do you get what i'm saying because is it are they being authentic are they being genuine in their feelings for you i feel like it has more to do with how they're viewing you how their perception of you has changed Maybe they thought that you would never get over them. Maybe they thought that you would never move on. Maybe they thought that you wouldn't be doing bigger things. Um, so it's almost like now that life is not going that great for them, they're trying to come back into your life so that they can experience the growth and advancements that you're experiencing. Now, this doesn't have to be relationships. This could be if you had a falling out with a friend or someone that was close to you at some point and you guys just you know, had a falling out and all of a sudden they're popping back in, don't be surprised. It's because they've heard or they know or they've seen that you're doing good or that you're going on to better things, Taurus. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I feel like you are most definitely on to bigger and better things. Uh, for those of you guys that are single out there, you're not going to be single for too long. All right, because what I'm seeing is in the month of July, there's a connection that's coming through and it could be potentially either uh, someone that is not where you're from or it could be that you're traveling while you meet this person. For others of you, it could be that they're moving to the location or to, you know, the place that you live around there, around that neighborhood, but it's someone that's coming from a different country or a different um a different state and they are moving on they're coming it's almost like they've closed a certain chapter in their life and they're ready to start new so this is definitely 
amazing energy. But like I said, do not give people the opportunity of seeing or thinking that you're okay with allowing them to waltz right into your life when they did not hesitate leaving you behind. Do you get what I'm saying? All right, my loves. All right, and that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Stay tuned for the other videos that are coming through for you guys, how people uh, know what people like about you. And the other one was, what was the other one? I can't think of it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.